everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And today I'm doing a little bit more work on my Drama Queen journal. And as you can see, she's becoming quite the production. I feel like I'm getting close to completion on it. But there was something else that sort of gave me an idea, or I had this idea, that I wanted to do another little paper doll type thing, but this time using part of a hanky. So I have um, this piece of Tim Holtz uh, torn wallpaper fabric, and I, I'm using it instead of one of the um, pieces that I have in my samples because it's got a smaller pattern on it. And I have this handkerchief that is uh, not a not a whole handkerchief it's like a half a one and it's got some raw edges but I just thought it was so sweet and I wanted to put it on this piece of wallpaper and I'm I have it already kind of folded I've got a little tiny twist tie and it took me about I don't know I, I, it's embarrassing to say it took me about an hour to get it folded exactly the way that I wanted and so I'm not going to unfold it but suffice it to say that I just tried to cover up the raw edges as much as possible and I want to give her a little bit of um, drama kind of in, in back of her with this little bit so uh, to help me along what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my iron and iron it as flat as possible I've got my iron here and it's on I want to put it on a little bit lower heat to kind of crease it a little bit so that um, it doesn't quite stick up as far as it wanted to. And this stuff was just kind of getting away from me. It was really frustrating. <laughs> Let me pull this down, kind of uh, cover up that raw edge a little bit so that it's in the back. doing this I, I just thought it would be easier for me to work with this is the kind of fabric that if you touch it it sort of springs away and that's why I didn't want to unfold it <laughs> for the camera because I got it just about perfect so that it would fit on the page just right okay I think that should do it So my idea for this is to have this lovely heroine here uh, as though she's getting ready to go on stage. She's in her dressing room. So I have this piece of chipboard that I wanted to put sort of behind her like this. And I want to make it look sort of like um, a dressing room mirror. So let me get this out of the way. So to make this look like a dressing room room mirror. I'm going to try using this uh, boundary wax by Tim Holtz. And I don't know if this is going to work, so I'm just going to give it a shot. I'm just going to put a little bit on here. And I don't know if you can see, but there are these like grains, uh, looks like that are going this way. And so that is sort of how I want to uh, rub it on in that direction. And like I said, I don't know if this is going to work. I just want to give it the um, suggestion of being a mirror. Just sort of like that. And then to activate it, what you do is you apply heat. So I'm going to get my heat tool. And then that gives it the shiny that you see. So my thought was that if I just have her kind of in front of it, it will have the appearance sort of of being a mirror. Just the suggestion. 
All right, and um, she is from a pattern piece or a pattern envelope, and I have no idea where the hanky came from, but I've had her for a while. I'm going to give her a little bit of inking just to kind of cover up the, the white edges. And I also want to flatten this out. I've got this tiny, tiny little twist tie. Probably came from, um, you know, like a card of charms or something like that. And then they were all sort of um, tied onto the card with twist ties. So I'm going to use these little needle nose pliers just to get this flat. Now the thing is trying to figure out where to place everything on this piece of wallpaper, which is a little bit smaller than the page it's going to go on, and that's fine. I think what will help is to have a little bit of uh, foam, sticky foam, behind there so that she sits, she sits off of the paper a little bit, but doesn't, you know, I don't want her to get get squished. Okay, so I think the mirror should go right about here. So I'm going to position this on my mat so that this uh, hole is right in line with the 12. And I'm going to use art glitter glue and hope this is good enough. Uh, you can see that I tried the, the uh, boundary wax on the back just to get an idea of whether or not I could make it work because it's really for non-porous surfaces but I thought maybe the chipboard was um, dense enough that it would work and you know I, I was okay with the way it turned out okay so I want the mirror to be right about here now I want to um, position the, the handkerchief and get that attached as well and I think that's about right so it doesn't hang over too much on the bottom or off to the side actually you know what I think I'm gonna get some double back tape and put under that I just have a little bit of double back tape here just to kind of hold it in place anyway so my idea is that my little heroine here is in her dressing room getting ready for her performance. And one little last look in the mirror. Just gonna glue it down, sort of tack it down in some spots. Trying to get all the raw edges that I can turned under. And then she will be glued right here um, but she needs to she needs to have something cut supporting her from behind okay so I have um, this sticky foam the back off and this stuff is really really aggressive so once it goes down it is down okay so that'll hold her up there maybe a tiny bit more underneath her waistband there and she's going to be glued too but I just want to make sure that uh, once I have her on here that she's not going anywhere
Okay, before I get her completely glued down, I'm toying with the idea of putting these little lace leaves on her dress. I've got another one. This lace is so pretty. It's easy to cut the little individual sections apart. It has a really pretty kind of a leafy pattern on it. One of those things that I found in an estate sale. And I just thought that the color was perfect. It's a very, very pale pink uh, to go with the pink fabric of her dress and also goes with the little off-white flowers on the dress as well. I'm just going to put glue all over the back just because I don't know exactly what parts of her are going to contact and which ones aren't. So I'm going to make sure that wherever she makes contact, she has a lot of, a lot of stick. <laughs> and then just pull the backing off of these uh, pieces of foam. And you can kind of mold it a little bit with your fingers. Okay, so far I really, really love this. Okay, so dressing room mirrors have a lot of lighting in them, if you have ever seen one, maybe in an old movie. So I was planning on using these uh, little rhinestone gems, um, and I have a little flower too that I want to use to decorate the top of the mirror where that hole is. A bunch of them came out at once. <laughs> I want to stick that down in that hole as best I can, just using Fabri-Tac. And then these sticky gems. And I don't really trust them. <laughs> Once these things get a little bit old, the sticky kind of comes off. She looks like she's going to be a fair maiden in a romantic movie. I envision kind of like the Princess Bride. <laughs> One of my favorite movies. I have um, a couple of really, really good friends. And when they got married, um, the groom's father was the one that married them. Well, when he started off in his wedding talk, the first thing he said was, Mowage! <laughs> well... <laughs> Neither of uh, neither the bride nor the groom had ever seen the Princess Bride, so they thought he was having a stroke. <laughs> now wedge. <laughs> of course, you know, everybody there knew what was happening, but the bride and groom had no idea what he was doing. <laughs> they were I guess uh, by all accounts they were pretty horrified. I was not at the wedding myself. But um, because I didn't know them then, but that's a story that they love to tell. I wish I could have been there. And then I think we need a little light right in the center of that flower. Okay, so clearly this is not the flattest page I've ever made, but look, it's so cute. 
I want to give a little bit more sticky to the bottom of her bodice. Okay, I absolutely love that. I think that is absolutely precious. So I just want to get it stuck on the page. And I could even make it a pocket. And I think I will. So I'm just going to glue on two sides. Oh, I'm in love with this. Okay, do you ever do that when you make something and you just absolutely love it? You're just over the moon. Well, I am over the moon with this page. So this is, yeah, this is definitely going to be a pocket. And once it dries, I'll sew around it as well. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then um, I'm going to sew around that and I'll be right back. Okay, I am absolutely in love with this, but it needs a final touch. And to do that, hopefully you're not getting too much of a glare from here. I'll put a put that over the mirror so it's not so glary. But my husband found this cursive um, or this dyma labeler with a cursive cartridge in it. So I just want to put some words in here. Start with A S Trouble spaces. Y O U W I you probably can tell what I'm writing S H Okay, so I wrote out as you wish <laughs> because this just reminds me so much of Princess Buttercup and the Princess Bride and I just had to put these words on here. Okay, I think I need to put them down here because that's where they will fit. I've mentioned this before, but it bears repeating. Don't use Fabri-Tac or any other acetone-based glue on your Dymo label backs because it will um, it'll dissolve the writing. That's because acetone is a solvent. I tried it before. <laughs> And I used to work in the quality industry in aerospace, and uh, one of the things that we used to use to inspect with was a mylar. Um, and it, you would lay it over the part, it had markings on it, um, and the outline of, of the part that you were checking to make sure that it was within the tolerances. And um, <laughs> I remember one time somebody decided that they needed to clean the mylar and they used acetone to do it and it destroyed it. Okay, one more spread done for my Drama Queen journal and I absolutely love it. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It's um, I, I try to have different projects each time. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in my next video. Let the serendipity find you, everybody, and happy crafting. Bye-bye. <laughs>